Welcome to the Game Day Recap, sponsored by Alabama Power. I'm Justin King, here with Kevin Skarbinski, and we are at Davis Wade Stadium, wrapping up the day. Kevin, talk to me a little bit about this day and what Alabama faced coming into it. Justin, unless you've been here to cowbell country, you can't appreciate how loud and intense and intimidating this environment can be. It was a serious obstacle for Alabama to face any time, but to do it a week after playing that massive game against LSU, it was a real challenge for Alabama, and they rose to the challenge. Mississippi State's game plan coming in was to stop Alabama from running at all costs. Talk to me a little bit about how that went. I think that's pretty much the mindset of every defensive coordinator. Make Jake Coker beat you. Don't let Derrick Henry beat you. Easier said than done. It works a lot easier in the film room than it does on the football field. Jake Coker was not sharp tonight. He was not at his best. But he didn't throw the ball to the Bulldogs, which was a positive for Alabama. And, and it was interesting. You looked up on the stat sheet after the game, and you almost didn't realize Derrick Henry had 22 carries for 204 yards. Of course, most of those yards came on those two long touchdown runs. The guy's a beast. You just can't stop him. Yeah, stats a little misleading for this game. You kind of just take a look at the numbers, and they might not necessarily make sense. They don't say a 31-6 to game. That's for sure. Mississippi State had more total yards of offense than Alabama did. But in his press conference, after giving up as many yards as Alabama did, you would think Nick Saban might not be that happy, but that's not the case. He actually made a joke in his press conference. He <laughs> used... Hey, the, the man bleeds. We found out tonight the man actually bleeds. Kevin... Nick Saban used the word resilient multiple times when talking about this team in that press conference. What does he mean by that, and where does this Alabama team compare to ones you may have seen in the past? Well, in terms of resilience, what he means is coming into this kind of environment against a quality football team, not playing your best, and still not being challenged on the scoreboard and not being challenged at all really in the second half, a week after the game of the year, century, whatever you want to call it, against LSU. In terms of where this team ranks among Nick Saban's best teams, they're not there yet but they're developing into something special. You can see it with Derrick Henry carrying the ball. You see it at times with Jake Coker getting the ball to Calvin Ridley and what Ridley can do. And then that defense is just becoming downright nasty, and it's fun to watch.